Hi, I'm going to show you how uh, Ford spring lock fittings work, and um, I'm going to show you Detroit Thermo uh, AC block off fittings uh, for Ford spring lock. Uh, this is a female Ford spring lock. This one is a block off fitting for, uh, this is a spring lock number 12 size. This one is a spring lock number 6 size. Uh, these are both the female end of the fitting, and this is what the male end looks like. So you can see that there are uh, radial O-rings on the outside. Um, very early spring locks were one O-ring, and they weren't very reliable. They went to two, and they weren't very reliable, and they went to three. And then eventually Ford just gave up because spring lock fittings are great in the assembly plant. They're great for service. They're just not that reliable. Uh, they'll last for a long time. They'll last for many, many years, um, a decade. But eventually, uh, because the the fittings sort of work like this when they're when they're engaged, um, eventually the O-rings just wear out. That's probably not going to happen with block with these block off fittings because there, there shouldn't be any movement. They, it's not like a long assembly that is uh, flexing all the time. Okay, so inside of the spring lock, there is a, there's what's called a garter spring. So it's basically an extension spring that is welded together to form a continuous loop. So it's kind of like a donut shape. And when you push the spring lock together, this flare feature on the female part spreads the uh, garter spring um, so that it's bigger than the, the, the biggest diameter of this flare and then it snaps into the back side of the female part so make sure you put some some automotive pagwell on these o-rings or else uh, you could tear them when you assemble it and um, it'll be really hard um, but basically you push it together it should be tight and you get a, <clears throat> a snap that tells you that it's that the garter spring has um, engaged on the back side of the flare and uh, there's lots of sizes this is a number six um, but it's the same thing the the um, the flare looks bigger, but it's it's not. It's just the pipe is smaller. So you push it in until you get a good click, and then it's in. Okay, so to take this off, uh, there's lots of different kinds of tools. Um, this one, I think, is made by OTC. If you get the Ford Rotunda, it has sort of a, a clamshell that goes around the entire fitting. And that makes it so that if you release the garter spring and there's still pressure it won't just shoot apart um, this OTC doesn't have that it's just uh, the business part of it which is a uh, kind of a tapered uh, wedge a cylindrical wedge right here that spreads the garter spring so you push that in and it it spreads the garter spring apart so now the the flared part of the female is free to come loose and it just pops loose okay so these parts uh, I machine these are CNC machined from solid bar stocks so they're not gonna leak there's no welds there's no braze joints um, and this has a very nice surface finish so um, uh, surface finish on the outside doesn't matter that's just for looks on the inside that's of course an o-ring sealing surface um, so I machine these to entirely the Ford specification so uh, dimensions uh, all the radii all the tolerances all the surface finishes especially the the inside where the ceiling is uh, machined to the actual Ford specifications 
I think that's all there is to it. Thanks.